In this video, I'm going to introduce the robot engine for controlling robots, as well as a new robot made out of LEGO. The robot engine is based on Unity, which is well known as a good game engine. This software helps the user to design interaction with users, as well as designing robots motion. First, I'm going to show you how to animate a robot. Here we see a virtual representation of the robot in the Unity game engine. All 3D objects, including the field, are listed hierarchically in the project window, like this. For example, now I'm going to raise its left hand. In the hierarchy window, click on the arm L, which represents the axis of the left shoulder, and move its arm. As you can see, it's really easy to move the robot. The animation window synchronizes with the robot. Here it shows the motion you've just made, and it's also pretty easy to modify the timing precisely. Like this, just drag and drop. Now I will show you how animations can be linked to form and interaction. Add the motion to the animator window and connect it with the other motion. For the transition, you decide the condition in the inspector window. Now it's set at exit time 0.75. It means the motion bow will start when 75% of the motion arm L is executed. Press the play button on the top to play the animation. That's all that you have to do to design the robot movement. You can also add and use your own parameters and make more complex movement. The software has a function to connect with Arduino, so you can control a robot which uses the Arduino easily. This is our LEGO robot, Izar, which has six actuators, a camera, a microphone, and a speaker. We cramped all these goodies into this very small, original LEGO flashlight. The head, shoulders, hands, and waist each have one degree of freedom. We use the Arduino as a microcontroller. You only need to run our specific Arduino program, and you can then communicate with Unity. Just press the play button in Unity to start the interaction or animation. The robot then moves in the same way the virtual robot does. The robot engine goes beyond animating your robot. It integrates additional functions such as face tracking and dialogue management. Now I'm going to show you the face tracking. It uses an actuator in the waist to move its head vertically. For the image processing, it uses a camera embedded in the head. Hi, how are you? Excited. You are? Right now, is your face red and flushed? I don't think so. Why do you disagree? Because I don't feel hot and flush. Insufficient reasoning. Ah, human emotions. What do you like? Do you know what I do like about the human culture? I like movies that make me cry. You are playing to make the saddest movies ever. Have you watched the Lego movie? I don't think I ever have watched the Lego movie. What's it like? It's all about you. Wow, it sounds really interesting. Yes, I bet, because he has you in it. How much would you bet? Um, $10? That sounds like a lot of money. My species does not use currency. Do you like the weather today? I'm not in your planet's atmosphere, so I've no experience in any weather. Are you a fireman? Am I a fireman? Yup, yeah, right. As well as the chatbot, you can also make a conversation script. This is the script that was used at the LEGO Imagination Station for an experiment in which this robot talks with customers and asks them to donate. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. I'm glad to talk with you. How was your stay at the Imagination Station? Did you enjoy the program today? Yes. 
great. That's nice. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Did you know that I am made of Lego? Yep. Yeah. And I can even dance for you. Do you want to see it? Yes, please. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, the Imagination Station completely depends on your donation to keep it open. Please consider donating. Wait. I am afraid we upset 50 or $100. No. I'm kidding. You can put any amount of money. Could you please donate for us? Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I am looking forward to seeing you again. Bye.